guys welcome back to our channel um, so I thought we would continue on with the Louis Vuitton theme unintentional but I thought why not um, because I wanted to share with you the few pieces I bought before the cruise piece that I bought um, from the pre-autumn winter collection um, bought them from July August not September I don't think no because I bought my boots in in August in Paris so yeah what I love about these pieces they actually all coincide with each other and I really didn't really expect myself to want everything in the same kind of collection but it was seasonal so I love the seasonal pieces more than I like mainstream stuff um, but first before we go back in time I thought why not share with you guys something a bit fun that I picked up last weekend when we went for afternoon tea in Louis Vuitton so yeah I bought this and this is another piece from Cruise Collection it's been sitting in my hallway for a few days um yeah the receipt is somewhere I hide them don't ask me why um long box I don't know why it's such a long box for what it is but I I'm not going to complain because I love a good box this is really odd because I've only ever bought one of well one of these things which is bigger but I bought the Twilly from the Kyoto cruise collection because why not it's such a cool like look at the kabukis they're so cool again Louis Vuitton Kyoto is such a dream collection just because I've been to Kyoto. Kyoto is like one of my favourite places in the world. I love Japanese culture and I love the detailing on this. It's just phenomenal. And I will put it on um, all my bags really. I think it'll look really nice with my um, Pochette Matisse. Well, the two Pochette Matisse I have. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Again, I've never had a scarf that come with that. And I have a lot, a lot of Sprouse scarves. But yeah, that was uh, Mark Jacobs' time. But anyway. So that was my unboxing, which was really not as exhilarating as the last one. It started off with this piece. Um, a bit of a background. Uh, Pre-autumn winter is obviously a non-catwalk collection. Um, it's just kind of a filler collection which I always think is probably the best because sometimes the catwalk stuff is a little bit intense or gimmicky, um, you know, it depends on the brand. Um, so there's always a bit shot by campaign. There's no like runway show. It's just what the designer has put out there and he's had a campaign done and it's really cool. And I think Nicholas Gesquier and Karl Lagerfeld do so well with pre-collections they're the ones that I always aim to go for before a main collection. Um, so I was looking at the time to buy, I think it was something from Dior um, as my 30th birthday present. Um, and I think I had my my eye on a Diorama maybe or, or something along the lines. But I had a bit of bad experience with um, Dior sadly. Um, hasn't put me off the brand at all but it just kind of it was a bit of a sour point um, and I was kind of contemplating a few other things but it really wasn't on my radar at the time to get anything from Vuitton until I saw this okay isn't it's dust bag because it's been in my wardrobe but yeah you've probably seen this if you follow me on Instagram which most of you do, like my followers and stuff, um, you've seen this bag on my Instagram. But it's the limited edition uh, Broguing Pouchette Matisse um, leather and canvas. Um, so yeah, we can see the Broguing there and there and the back and the handle. Oh. And then the reverse mono by there and on the bottom too. Um, What's really cool is you can wear it like that with the normal strap, um, which is the normal, you know, mono strap. But then it comes with this, which is how it's meant to be. So that's 
how it's meant to be worn like that and it's so cool it kind of gives it a bit of a jazzy effect i've usually worn it with the chain out i do get a bit conscious of it but i love it anyway um i've used this bag so much over the summer like i said to you i bought it in july on a whim um i saw it and i was like oh my god um previous arguments with the suit and someone was why didn't you let me buy the pochette matisse in the reverse monogram because i have obviously classic and i use that one to death it probably is one of my favorite handbags um i say that about all my bags but it really is one of the ones i go for the most especially in the bad weather because it just holds up amazingly um and i really wanted the reverse because i love i love reverse reverse is like my favorite i've got my uh, mini palm springs in a reverse monogram um i missed out on it even though i had one in my hands um at the time before going to italy in may and i was being good at the time because obviously i wanted to keep money for um holiday and i think it was just meant to be because as soon as i saw this i was like there's no date about it i really want it i really absolutely love it 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 just called to me and I think I like the fact that it's limited edition I don't think you can get it anymore uh, sorry about that <laughs> um that's what happens when you make a video about three months later um because it was technically runway and um it came in the most amazing twist the twist was so beautiful but a little bit out of my budget even though I had budgeted for a diorama but again my 30th birthday was in august i had to think then about my birthday that's so bad and i bought this in july so it was very very good like it was sitting in my living room staring at me every day until my birthday and then i went and had my birthday meal in duck and waffle and i was so excited about this that's sad i know but anyway wouldn't you be excited about this so roll on loved it used it used it all through august went to paris um wasn't aiming to buy anything in paris to be honest except for like maybe some isabel Laurent clothing just because euro pound brexit um and i'd rather just buy our piece my pieces now from the uk because we might as well make my own country a bit better <laughs> not to say that i don't spend money in paris because i did uh, because i did buy Da, 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 da. the matching strap yes Ooh. Um, it's not adjustable again it's got the same broguing detail that is on the front of the is the white and uh, brown one the front of the uh, bag and the back of the bag so it's the white brown and brown dark brown even um on a mono monogram strap on the other side if you can actually wear it two ways if you wanted to that's what so awesome about the lv straps they're kind of reversible like the um fendi ones um i love this i wanted a a, a strap for a while and i was going to get one of the fendi ones but prices increasing in, in fendi for the straps I genuinely remember when they first launched that strap campaign and I wish I bought one then because the price of the Python ones are now the price of the normal ones. So shoulda, woulda, coulda. But I got this. Um, it looks insane actually on my Fendi bag. I used it the other day and I think I put it on my Insta stories. So follow me on Instagram. It's up or below. Because um, I do a lot of my Insta stories too. Um, yeah it looked insane on my on my gray um by the way fendi it was so cool um and it looks really nice on my on my other matisse my all monogram one and it's kind of made me want to get another one from lv um i had bought and returned the reverse monogram one just because i didn't actually like the um, adjustable straps on it it was all reverse um and the other side was all black um but it had like the black was too aggressive on the monogram, which was a bit odd. Um, I'm a bit funny when it comes to detailing. That's the problem with working in fashion. Um, 
So yeah, I took that back, but I think I've seen a lot more. If anything, I really want the Kabuki strap, but it is sold out everywhere. So if anyone sees the strap from the Kyoto collection with the Kabukis on it, let me know, because I will come running for it. I really want that one, because I think that would look absolutely amazing on everything. Um, so yeah, that was one. That was the other. And I had to go and top it off with uh, something else, didn't I? I don't think I'll actually wear all this together. That would be really, really bad. It'd be like Daniela Westbrook in all her Burberry ensemble, but you know, we're now going into gosher territory now. But anyway, I got these then. The boyish ankle boots, which have been worn, as you can tell, because I just wanted to kind of share this with you. Um, again, it's got that brogue detailing on there and um, I'll show you the strap and on the side in a second but it's got the detailing all around the corner I'm gonna put one of these down in a second yeah so it's got all the detailing there and the detailing on the front here which is absolutely beautiful and uh, it's just a plain brown black um, laces sorry I lost my words there and then obviously the classic mono monogram on the side and then you've got the clasp on side you can actually take this off if you want to but I actually really like it um, so obviously this is the spin on the classic sorry I had to just put it down a second um, so it's got the nice LV on the side it's kind of like the twist so this is the boyish boot and it does come in the all monogram. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, it comes in the all monogram version, which I love. Um, they're so popular that always sold out, like always sold out. Um, but I, I didn't want all monogram because I do use my Louis Vuitton bags all the time. Um, I'm a big Chanel person, I'm a big Louis Vuitton person, I am very much like into all kinds of handbags but I do use my LV ones and my Chanel ones the most and I thought all monogram would kind of be a bit OTT and like I said to you, I wouldn't use all three of these together, I just genuinely loved the detailing on this collection, I loved the Brogan effect, I think it's so different for LV what they did with this broguing effect and the fact that it wasn't a part of a mainstream collection it was just an in a filler collection I think that's even cooler um the bag actually came in um epi leather too but that had nothing to do with the broguing bits um but these pieces came in the streamer and the LV twist like I mentioned um I think that was it because the streamer bag is beautiful and that was another one on my list but yeah I love these these are super comfortable I bought these before I bought my Chanel boots um but I never wore them because I was obsessed with the black Chanel boots that I've got that are on my Instagram I'm sure you've seen them the black ones with the pills that everyone seems to have now but yeah, these are definitely an investment. I'm always into investment boots. I've had my Chloe boots for seven years now. And um, all, all my Chanel boots, I still own them. I'm really happy with them. You'll still see me wearing my Saint Laurent ones, but I do, last year didn't buy any boots. Um, so this year I thought, I'll treat myself to two new pairs, this one and the Chanel ones. I do still have my eyes on the Givenchy ones, but I don't know if I will cave to them this year, maybe next year or something. I'm, I'm not sure. If they go in sale, that'd be great. But these are insane. This collection is insane. And I feel really bad <laughs> for showing you all these matching pieces because I don't actually... The boots I know are available, and I think you might be able to find the strap, depending where you are, but I know the bag is like sold out everywhere. So, yeah, what more is there to say, really? Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I just really, again, really wanted to share with you that 
those pieces in that collection because who doesn't love LV, right? I know everyone does in their own little weird way. People say they don't, but they do. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember, you can follow us, or me even, on Twitter, Miss Nadia Naz, and on Instagram, Nadia Bijou Parisian, which should either be up above, below, or in the description box, where you'll find Rob's details too. And most importantly, please, 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 like, subscribe, retweet, put on your Instagram about YouTube. We want to know what you want to see from us more. Do you want to see more vlogs? Would you like to see more handbag collection? Would you like to see my high street hauls? I am a bit of a shopaholic, as you can tell. Um, just let us know, really, in the comment box, if, underneath a photograph, on Twitter, any way you feel comfortable. We're not doing this for sponsorship. We're not doing this to get more, more, you know, money or whatever, because we get nothing. We're doing this for the love of making videos a videographer and a director versus a shopaholic <laughs> who just likes to gabble, gabble, gabble. And this is like, take a million. So I kind of ain't that used to the camera yet. <laughs> so honestly, whatever you want to see from us, I'd love to hear your feedback. So please comment wherever you feel comfortable commenting and we will see, see you soon. And I did stutter a little bit there, but you know, when you're in your flow and all that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching again. We do really appreciate our views and we do, do love doing this. And we're hoping we're getting better at it. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you soon. Bye.